Welcome everybody, my name is Beast Jam Palomino. I am going to bring you homie G's the finals of this tournament. This is our second Platinum through Masters tournament on the EU server as Team BCN does want to show EU some love. Sexually. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. This is Antigua Shipyards. Let's change this music as it's kind of odd. Alright, so we are going to see Pikachu versus Pikachu spawning on the left-ish side of Antigua Shipyards. Red and Zerg, as well as the Blue Homie G Unique Team FL Fruity Loop Studio. Just kidding. It is going to go ahead and spawn as the Blue Protoss. <laughs> be gentle. Now, the reason he's saying this is because these two players just played a best of three for the semifinals. And we are going to see these two players on the finals now. Go ahead and duke it out. Now, it looks like we are going to see a very risky yet sexy expansion. This is the fastest Forge Fast Expand possible, which is why I really like it. It takes balls to try and pull this off, and it can, it can be done. Don't you worry about it. So now the reason why we're seeing these two players play again is because Pikachu did move on to the finals. However, his opponent, because apparently now it's like 2 a.m. in uh, where in his country, so his opponent actually logged off and is sleeping right now. Now FL Unique, his he went into the uh, third place match, and his opponent is also logged off and sleeping right now, because that's what people do at 2 a.m. in the morning. And so we are going to see these two players duke it out. <laughs> we are going to see these two players duke it out once more for the finals. FL Unique unfortunately didn't win last the last best of three versus Pika. And he's being a very nice and awesome sport. Going to go ahead and duke it out once more. Big shout outs to Clan FL and to the player Unique. Thank you very much. I do appreciate your being a great sport and duking it out once more with this very powerful Pikachu. This is a red Pikachu, which means he's an evil Pikachu. You don't turn your back on this Pikachu. Unless you're into that kind of thing. And it looks like we are going to see the cannon shenanigans are activated. Now, there is a little gap right here, which can screw him a little bit in the tush, in the badunk dunk But we're going to see how the links, forward links coming out. Will that be enough to go ahead and deny this? Now, he, Pikachu could opt to go ahead and just grab his third. The lings are out, the lings are out, and they aren't going to have the surface area they want. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to power this down. The lings are actually moving directly for the natural. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Oh, no, and Pikachu is actually opting to put his hatchery at the natural. And I think we are going to see some sh funny gains going on for the finals. Pikachu versus FL Unique. Tirte! What's going on, Tirte? Paolo, what account are you on? I'm on an EU account. This is the EU client, and we are doing an EU tournament. This is the finals of um, TeamBCN.net's Platinum through Masters tournament on the EU sector, the second edition, and we're seeing the proxy hatch going down, as well as the cannon shenanigans to deny the main, I mean the natural for good old Pikachu. Pikachu powering down the cannon, and this might, might be the GG as this hatchery. Looks like it is going to go ahead and finish up. Two gateways on the way with a cannon to protect it. One gas is going down. And the and the lings are coming. The the lings are coming. The drones are coming. The whole the whole kitchen and the faucet is gonna be thrown in FL Unique's face. Let's see if it's gonna be enough. I think we are gonna see some spine crawler shenanigans on the way. These lings have complete full full freedom to run into the main oh cool nice Baxter what's going on a pleasure to see you Baxter I love you all right these probes looking like a school of fish are du juking around trying to find the perfect engagement to kill these innocent little links who all they want to do is headbutt this big building these probes need that big building and look, we actually are going to see some mining. These drones aren't actually going to be used for anything but mining. That's cute. That's adorable. Actually, right now, Pikachu is in a really nice position as uh, Pikachu is grabbing his natural. Isn't in danger of getting any cannon fodder. Literally. Two zealots are going to be a nice amount. Are, should be more than enough to uh, go ahead and deal with these links unless links actually get speed and, or catch these uh, zealots out of, out of position. But... 
right now Pikachu officially has three bases and is working on his saturation oh baby this is what happens when you try to cannon a baller hello what's going on flying raccoon welcome homie G you are right now experiencing this finals of Team BC and Net's Platinum through Masters Tournament. This is the finals between Pikachu and FL Unique. And baby, is it getting crazy because we do see the spine crawlers making their slow migration across the map. It's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a siege tech siege tank push where the units slowly but surely make their way make their way across. Now these zealots, though they don't have plus one, they are extremely powerful. We have a total of six zealots right here. But these zealots are gonna take extra damage from these from these crawlers. Zealots don't not wanting to go down, not wanting to venture down this ramp. Two stalkers gonna follow up, but right now, good old Pika is starting to con and continue with mining off of three bases, getting the drone count up as well as two more queens in production. One more crawler trying to get in position, and he's gonna go ahead and poke away like a camel would if he was stuck in the ground and had a lethal lethal knife tap tape to his head looks like a beautiful trend fuse is going down as this zealot both actually simultaneously going down and these stalkers are gonna have the range uh, advantage oh thanks very much flying raccoon do appreciate it do appreciate the love because who wouldn't who doesn't appreciate love you'd have to be like an evil penguin Ready and some target firing going on, going on to the first creep. To I mean the first spine crawler moving up. It looks like it is going to go down. This this stalker might juke his way out of harm's way. Oh, beautiful micro here. Roach Warren is officially down. Did the Roach Warren actually get canceled? No, the Roach Warren is down. Queens at all three bases. Pikachu has three bases worth of larva. Still hasn't dealt with this cannon, but maybe he just feels like he doesn't need to. As this expansion does look particularly safe, seven roaches are coming out. As we do have the twilight, this may be a uh, he may he may be trying to go into a uh, blink tech actually, which I think it could work, but it's going to be a bit tricky. It is possible that uh, Pikachu might try to get the uh, well. Pikachu is going to need that speed if this blink ever does come up, and Pikachu might go ahead and just get the burrow and put good old FL Unique in a really hard position. As on one base, you just can't get that Robo and Observer without drastically cutting any units, without drastically cutting your army supply. And right now, these roaches are going to pay for themselves. We see four more on the way. Right now, this this uh, this ramp is officially Pikachu's. He said, "Ramp, I choose you." Threw a Pokeball at it and has officially captured it. I'll catch you later, Flying Raccoon. Pleasure to see you, Homie G. Baby, this is looking a little and win behind Dark Shrine. That is what the Twilight was for. And this uh this forge is actually just for cannons. Do we see any? Well, actually there is the there are these pylons right here. And right now we might just see zealots coming out for good old FL Unique because he wants to save that gas for this beautiful DT tech. Now he's only gonna have two gateways worth of tech. And here we go, the two more gateways. And this could this is, does have the possibility of really of uh, doing excellent, excellent damage. Do we have any options for, uh, we, are, we do get a macro hatch going on, the, ha the layer is on the way. No evolution chamber, however, the layer is going to give uh, Zerg the option of, <laughs> cute, very cute. It's going to give the option of any of these overlords to turn into overseers. It's kind of like in the Matrix, when you like, you know, like everyone can turn into Mr. Smith. That's kind of like all the overlords will have the option of turning into a Mr. Smith. And, uh, and go ahead and proceed to give complete vision of any of the any of the bases that good old Pikachu wants and the DTs are officially done it looks like these uh, it looks like right in time as the first warpman is gonna go down these DTs are moving directly into the main and it looks like good old Pikachu doesn't quite see it yet it's gonna be very interesting to see what kind of tech he wants to go for first will he go for the hive I mean the layer is going directly for the queen first double evolution chambers are officially down so good old Pikachu has the options of either overseers or spore crawlers and it looks like he is going directly for the economy as the as the good old overseer is going down at the at the natural these roaches making the decision to go ahead and stay put at the third right now good old Zerg McFerg I mean good old Protoss is stuck on one base and these overseers are in position. Where are these DTs? They're hiding. Where there's one hiding. 
Looks like the other one, unfortunately, did fall. A brave DT right here. And the push is going forward. These these cannons putting in as much damage as they can. Really nice, uh, really nice cannon placement, actually. I do believe. More cannons trying to get warped in desperately, but I do think this is going to be a downhill battle. Or perhaps an uphill battle for good old FL Unique. Warprism is out. Going to go ahead and save these stalkers as he is going to go ahead and put on some counter pressure. Looks like those stalkers are going to go ahead and evacuate. This is like an uh, end of the world movie where the last remaining civilians are trying to get evacuated. But it looks like the laborers, the brunt work laborers, are going to go ahead and get left behind as this, as this city does collapse through this alien invasion. Through this alien invasion. Oh, unique. Indeed, win behind Dark Shrine. Win, <laughs> when would you not Dark Shrine?